Sichuan Si well. I'm not sure if it's here anymore, but I do know it's not as famous as the Bai Sha Well, uh, which is so famous it even has a cigarette company named after it. Historic vehicle. We have the uh, old photos of the schooling system. The uh, historical trail goes through the streets like this, and my bar is just here. This is Hunan, China, a land with 70 million inhabitants and full of hidden beauties. In this series, we will walk into the lives of those who travel, study, work and live in Hunan to give you a picture of what makes Hunan so attractive. Here we are in what I think is uh, my favorite part of Changsha. I like to call this the, the Changsha Hutong, like the Beijing Hutong. You can see the architecture and the small narrow streets where everybody lives. You know, the Changsha used to be called uh, Xincheng and is about 2,400 years old. So that's remarkable. As we can see, uh, the local government is trying to preserve this area and redevelop this place. So hopefully it will last for another 2,400 years. One of the things I'm most interested in is a historical route that people can walk down and go through the most beautiful parts of Changsha. So obviously we are here right now with the big red circle. Um, for those who can't read it, this says Reminglu, uh, big major avenue. Um, the river flows this way and uh, we can basically walk the route through downtown Changsha and along the old neighborhoods near the riverside. Uh, we can see an old city map over here and you can see how fantastic the old city would have looked uh, and you can imagine the town that built around this. So all this is in this part of town and um, obviously Changsha being Changsha at night time becomes a, a Shao Kao place for late night street food and barbecue and lots of beer. Here are one of the many arches that you can experience. And I think one of the most interesting things about Changsha is how it has these beautiful, old, preserved neighborhoods mixed in with more modern buildings. Like, for example, right behind you, you can see the Grand Hyatt Hotel, one of many 21st century skyscrapers that give Changsha that beautiful mixture of old and new. Okay, Damien, please tell us about yourself. Well, I'm from the UK. I've been living in Changsha for about, well, a long time, over 12 years. My hometown in the UK is uh, Nottingham. I'm an educator in Changsha. I run a bar here and I get involved in a lot of cultural uh, and educational events to bring Chinese and foreigners together so they can understand and appreciate Changsha more together. So last week you held a street party, uh, why are you doing this? I think it's very nice to introduce traditions and customs from other countries to Changsha Ren because they are interested and I think Chinese have a great appetite for curiosity. They want to learn about the world. So we had this special fun maypole morris dancing event but also I have events where I want to introduce traditional Chinese culture to foreigners too. So um, it works both ways. What's it like to be, as they say, the representative of foreigners of Changsha? I do enjoy helping people, uh, both Chinese and foreign. I have a lot of questions every day that people ask me. So I think having a positive, structured, informative, uh, cultural and social events where people can meet each other is important. I feel very honored to be able to do that and I can only do that if I have the support and uh, the friendship of all my Chinese friends and of course foreigners too. Um, so it feels humbling to be honest, yeah. So how do you compare your life in Changsha and your previous life in Britain? Oh, it's quite different. Um, my hometown, as I mentioned before, is Nottingham. Compared to Changsha, it's a very calm, peaceful, leafy city. Changsha is dynamic, it's vibrant, it's exciting. Obviously, it's a lot busier. 
and it has some fantastic places like IFS and all the shopping malls and the riverside and the, the music and the dancing. Nottingham doesn't really have so much of that, but they both do share a similar economic background. So I think compared to my own hometown, yeah, it's, it's quite different. This is a place where every day you can experience something new and different. And I think that's what makes Changsha really special. And that's why I never want to leave.